Okay, my friends, this is from Seeker, and this is the world's first photo of quantum entanglement. Now, let's hear what they have to say, because I have something I would like to say, too. So, here they go, talking about Einstein, and how the particles entangle with each other. The entangled property of the photons the researchers chose to observe was their fates. Remember that photons can behave as both particles and waves. And if okay, this is where I want to make a statement, and it is based around the fact that the particles spin. They do not, they're not a particle or a wave, not one or the other at the same time. They are a spinning particle. That's the particle. It spins, right hand spin, forward. Long frequency short frequency. That's all it is. Now, it's the same particle, it's just in a different orientation as it spins. Sometimes it's going this way, sometimes it's headed out that way. That's the difference. So here we go. The photon's phase is where it is in its wave oscillation. Exactly. So, here it is here. That's at that position heading up this way. Here it is here at this position heading down this way. Here it is here at this position heading down that way. That is what they're seeing. Photons that are in step or in phase can amplify each other to give a brighter intensity. And out of phase, they can cancel each other out to give darkness. Once these entangled photons were created, they were split and sent on different paths. Down one path, the scientists set up a filter that would limit the photon to one of four different phases. Pa All right. When they say they limit, they're letting it go straight through, they're letting it go this way, they're letting it go this way, or they're letting it go that way. So, let's continue on. They're just, they're just phasing it in a different orientation as it goes through, and I'll show you how we phased ours. Passing through this filter is effectively the same as observing the photon's phase. So, as soon as its phase was determined, its entangled partner traveling down the other path would take on the opposite. Finally, when the two entangled photons in opposite phases were simultaneously detected, a super-sensitive camera capable of detecting individual photons would take a picture. Scientists repeated this until they could build up an image of the entangled photons, allowing the waves to amplify and cancel each other out. And without further ado, here it is. All right. The, this, all they're showing is that there's, there's power and no power. There's some form of a spinning particle. And that's exactly correct. Now this is actually the nature of the particle. As it's coming down, it's spinning this way. If it spins this way, sometimes it'll go that way. If it's way over here, it'll be more over this way. If it's going this side, it comes out that way. That is literally a drill tip. If you, show, you showed that to a machinist, you'd say, yeah, it's the tip of a drill. And it is. It's screwing through the slot and then going out and displaying on the back plate. Most goes through the center. The rest of them spin here, this way, that way, this way, that way, and so forth. All right, now they're lo looking at a photon in its singular phase. We're looking at it as it accelerates from a pulse red laser. We're looking at it as a particle. We're looking at it turn into plasma as it comes through the venturi. We're looking at it charge separate from the dark and the light, as you can see. We're looking at it reform. So we're looking at all of these phases. And now I can show you a, a little more detail than I think they showed. I frankly don't know exactly what this means, but I showed you the accelerator. There it is. And as these particles come down and they start to slow down, that's the particle. These are. This is all the same particle. I'm almost 100% sure. We're taking a picture as it's strobing down. So we're seeing it here as it accelerates. Here it starts to slow down. It's kind of bright. It's got a white on the top and black in the middle. White. It's like an upside down Oreo and it does this with the little spikes coming out the top and bottom. And the black and the white, which to me is a dipole, or I, if it's laying this way, one on top of the other, I'm not sure, or if it's just a torus, and it's creating this. Don't know. As it comes up past, it turns into this phase, which is a little less than this one here. Then it does this, it turns into a regular Oreo. 
<laughs> then it goes on and they turn back into spinning red light and I'll show you that. Now you can see these are all very similar distances between them. There's no slowing, there's no speeding up. Watch this. That, my friend, is absolutely without doubt speeded up particle, slowing down particle. No question that it's spinning to the right, which means it would drift to the left as we take that picture of it. Or that's all the same particle. It's just that we catch it as a, in a strobe condition where it's just zoom, going like that, and we're catching it in its, its elongated structure. But it's obviously slowing down, and there's no question whatsoever about that. And as we sh I showed with the other spinning particle going through and displaying, this would be the center, and these are spreading out. These are the particles that spread out, make the interference patterns. I'm just going to make these last statements. Pulse red laser, accelerated pulse red laser, particles, plasma, Cheryankov radiation, and the interference patterns, Higgs fields fluffed up after the particle through the Cheryankov radiation accelerates. Down here we have an impact of a reverse spinning particle into a normal particle creating a particle that I don't know what it is. Those are the literal what we consider the photons. That is the accelerated slowing light. Okay, listen to this now. Just really weird. In 1964, almost a decade after Einstein's death, physicist John Bell came up with a theorem that can distinguish between Einstein's proposed hidden variable explanation of spooky action and quantum mechanics' entanglement explanation. These statements are known as Bell's inequalities, and years after he devised them, they were tested and contradicted Einstein's idea of a hidden variable. This photo adds to the pile of evidence against Einstein, but... That photo is nothing. That has, I don't see anything here that makes any sense at all. If that's a big deal to them, pfft, my stuff blows that out of the water. And the problem is, what really annoys me, they won't let me even post this on these physics groups. They refuse to allow it. And my stuff absolutely destroys what they just showed. This is CERN's particle accelerator. Smashes, makes a zillion particles because they're using heavy protons. And in every proton, there's 1,836 particles. Every neutron, 1,837. And an electron is an electron. They have 8,000 particles, and they are the, there's the particles. I am CERN's using one particle, and here's my particles right there. Particles. We're seeing one particle come out of there, and each one of those is, is associated to a single particle, not like CERN. And then we can see our particles in actual particles. I showed them before. I know I did. Anyway, that's, and, and this, this won't be, a, they won't even let me show this to say, what do you think? They say, no, you have to have it peer-reviewed before you can even show this on quantum physics group. They have 380,000 people. They will not allow it to be shown. The other stuff, they'd love to have that shown. This is what annoys me. I mean, it's, I'm annoyed, obviously. I've got all this evidence, and I've got evidence of a, a, a whole bunch of other things absolutely denied to be seen. They won't discuss it. They won't allow it because it could taint somebody's mind. 